Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fourth Angular 2 tutorial and in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of the core files that were created in our base project. Okay then, so a couple of tutorials back we went ahead and created a new project using the Angular CLI and it created this directory right here, this is the name of the project and all these folders and files within it and like I say, this looks like a lot of files and folders for an empty project but you don't need to worry about most of them. So just to quickly go through it, this first one right here, this config folder, this just hold, uh, holds some configuration for your environments and other things. You're not really gonna need to touch that at all in this tutorial series. Uh, this next one, this dist folder stands for distribution. This is where our distributed code is gonna be stored. And I'll explain that in a minute, but we don't need to go in there and edit anything directly ever. Um, this ETE folder has some config for TypeScript and other things. We don't need to go in there. Uh, this node modules folder holds all of the modules that are installed for Angular to work. So we don't need to go in there either. This public folder is where we're going to store any assets that we want to use, such as style sheets or images. We can pop those in there. Um, this source folder is where we're going to be working for most of the time and it's got this app folder inside it as well as these other files as well. I'm going to come back to this folder in a minute. Um, this temp folder is to do with when we're converting TypeScript into JavaScript etc. And then we have a few other files down here such as package.json etc. We don't need to worry about any of this. The only thing we really need to worry about is this source folder right here. This is where we're going to make all of our application code and if we want to dump any files, any public files, we can pop them in this public folder as well. So since we're writing with TypeScript in Angular 2 and browsers don't understand TypeScript, they, under, uh, they only understand JavaScript, what we need to do is have a way of converting this TypeScript that we write into JavaScript. Now fortunately Angular takes care of all of that for us but that is what that distribution folder is for. We write all of our application code in this source folder right here and it's all in TypeScript. Then when we build it, it is output in JavaScript, it's converted to JavaScript, compiled, and it's output in this distribution folder right here. Okay, so we don't need to directly touch this. Angular takes care of all the heavy lifting for us, converts what we write in the source folder into JavaScript, outputs it here so that browsers can understand it, okay? So let's just have a quick look inside this source folder. First of all, we've got this index.html file. And by the way, if none of this makes much sense at the minute, don't worry, I'm only quickly going through each of the different parts of this folder structure right now. And we're gonna look into the different components and sections in more detail as we go along. So anyway, this index.html file, this is the root index file which fires when we load up the application. And we've got some bog standard stuff in the head, you can see up here. And down here we have got a app root tag right here. And you'll notice that is not a HTML tag. That is a directive tag. And we're going to talk about more in detail about those later. Um, then down here we've got this script right here, which is importing the system config. That's a file. And it's also importing this main.ts file. And notice there's no .ts extension on the end there. And when we import something which is a TypeScript file, we don't need to put .ts on the end. It automatically recognizes that it's gonna look for a TypeScript file, okay? So when it imports this main TypeScript file, that's right here. So if we click in here, you can see it's just importing a few different things. And like I say, don't worry about those at the minute. And then what it's doing is calling this function right here, bootstrap and it's bootstrapping our application, which basically means it's setting it all up so that it works. And we're gonna look at that a little bit later on as well. Okay, so now then, in the app folder, this is where all of our different components that we create for our website or different sections of our website, different states, different pages, that's where all that kind of code is gonna live. Now at the minute, there's just one component. And for each component, you'll see, it's got a component.ts file, component.spec.ts, component.html, and component.css, and that's all for the app component, okay? So we've got all those four files just for that one compon uh, component. Now in this tutorial series, we're not gonna look at this file right here, .spec, this is to do with testing. I'm just gonna delete that for now, get it out of the way. 
and we're going to be focusing on these three or rather these two the HTML and the TypeScript one so for example we could have a component for our navigation and we'd have a nav.component.ts nav.component.html and nav.component.css if we want as well all right and that component is going to control the functionality and the view of that part of the website of that component right and in each component we have a class which is the name of that component then we have some code within the class which i'm going to go through later on and by the way this is the title which is output onto the page when we ran it when we used ng serve before that is what came out so we have that class in each component we have a decorator which is one of these things right here um signified by this at symbol and we import anything within, uh, that we need in this component there at the top and again don't worry too much this is a really quick overview so that is what the component kind of um, code looks like how we kind of interact with that component view etc it's all done here then this is the view for that one component as well now right now it's just a h1 tag and we're outputting that title which is in this thing right here okay so we're sharing that data between this class in the component.typescript file and we can share that data right here and we're outputting it okay so there you go that is your very quick overview of the core files in this blank project we are going to go into more detail in each section of those different areas as we move through this tutorial series and we're going to start by taking a look at components in the very next tutorial